Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here. Back with another uh, drawing video. It's Sunday, so we're back uh, do another one. And uh, today's video is going to be on TKO from the show OKKO. OK That's not a confusing title. Uh, but this video was requested by uh, Jabin Sanders. So thank you so much for the request. I hope uh, hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy uh, K or TKO. Um, I've actually did see an episode of this show. Uh, I generally don't watch Cartoon Network anymore, but I did see one episode, and it's the episode with Sonic the Hedgehog, because Sonic actually does make a guest appearance on uh, one of the episodes, and it was okay. Um, no Ed and Eddie, but it was it was cool. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, so get your pencils ready, and um, let's jump in. All right, guys, so to start off drawing um, TKO over here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with like a decent sized circle. Um, this is going to be his head, and we're just going to get like a nice, nice round shape for it. Keep it light, because we're not going to follow this gesture all too much, just for the head though. And then um, underneath, you're basically going to get um, this very rounded uh, square. So you kind of like draw in a square. And then around here, we're going to get a nice big circle for his hand. And then we'll get like an oval here and another oval kind of underneath. And then we're going to get an oval here going down. A nice circle here for his other hand. And another oval here for his arm. Alright. And then off here we're going to get um, basically two lines going down. And they're going to go into uh, two big ovals right here and here. And um, that's pretty much it for uh, the gesture that we need. He's a very, very simple gesture. So I'm going to zoom in here. And if you want to, you can draw in the crosshair for the eyes. And if you want the center of the face to be about here, that's not really that important. A little bit, a little bit more over. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of draw in two big circles here and here. I'm just kind of gesturing it in before I really start drawing it in. And these are going to be his eyes, and we're going to kind of base the face around uh, how big we made the eyes. So, you just draw two nice big circles right next to each other. You can have a little bit of an overlap, that's fine. And then right underneath, you're going to get like this little rectangle. This is going to be his nose, like that. And then we're going to get these two big circles right here and here. For his eyes, and then we're going to get a little half circle right here and here. And you could also shade this in. Like that, and then shade this one in as well. Alright, and now since we got his eyes and his nose right there, we could kind of base the rest of his face off of this. So we're going to start about here on the eye. And basically just draw this nice curve line that curves down. Kind of follows the circle that we have a little bit. And then just kind of curves up and over like this. So you get this nice kind of big U shape. And then from there what we're going to do is start about this level on the eye. And we're just going to draw a line that kind of goes past this point a little bit. And then it's going to go up. And then over, and it's going to go above the eyes. And then it's going to curve down somewhere around here. Like that. And now we could draw in his hair kind of coming under his uh, headband over here. And basically to draw it in, we're going to start a little bit here, not touching the eye, a little bit next to it. And just draw a spike going down like this. Kind of connect it into the hair. And then we're going to start the edge of here and draw another spike going down like this. And then you could just draw like two or three more spikes kind of connecting in to these two. Like that. And then here we're going to start about here on the eye. And basically just draw a nice curve line. And it'll go into a series of like three or four spikes. Like that. So then we got down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to draw in the rest of his hair, which um, kind of, it just goes up and then kind of curves like this and goes up. 
So this is just a gesture. Don't uh, don't draw it real dark yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow this line going up. It's going to curve into about two spikes here. Like that. Got a nice little curve line in there. And then what we're going to do is um, start a little bit before this line ends and just draw a nice big curve line that curves up. Kind of dips down a little bit and then goes into a spike here. And then I'll have another little curve and into a spike and then just one more spike that connects into the hair like that. And now we could draw in his mouth, which is just this nice curve line like this. And then goes into a little triangle on the bottom for a little like snaggle tooth. But that's pretty much how you draw his head. And now um, we could get into drawing his arm because his arm's kind of in front of like his body here. So his arm's actually pretty simple. Um, what you want to do is draw kind of like an oval, like that, and you're going to draw two lines going down, just like that, and you get a nice little, little bump right here for his thumb, and then for his hand, we can kind of follow this gesture that we have here, and just get a nice big kind of U shape, go down, kind of get like a nice U going up. Then wrap around about here, and you're just going to get a nice little curve line there. And then we're just going to kind of draw a line finishing off the shape. And then all we need to do is draw on his wristband, which is just a nice little curve line right here, like that. And since we got that down, next thing that's kind of in front of everything is his um, body. And his body's pretty simple. So basically, like right under his chin, you're going to get two lines going down here and here. And they just kind of go into this really round, um, kind of rectangle shape. So it's like, uh, just goes down. So it comes this long rectangle, but it has very rounded corners. So you get that. And then you get his t-shirt, which is just a curved line like this. And then his um, chest muscles, you indicate with just a line going down. And then you're going to get the start of his pants here. They start a little bit before uh, this line. And then under here, you're going to get um, kind of like this nice curve line like that. And then it goes straight and then just kind of curves up again. And now we could draw in his uh, legs, which his legs are super simple. They're basically this long kind of cylinder. So you get a line going down here. Another parallel line. And then you get a nice little curve line right here. And then you get a line for his socks right here. And then you get a line for his shorts right up there. And once you get that down, you can draw in this nice kind of, um, kind of elongated oval shape like this. And then since he's barefoot, you see his toes, which are just indicated by two curved lines like that. And then for his other foot, you do the exact same thing. So two parallel lines, a little curve line connecting it, the sock line, his shorts line. And then we're going to get a nice uh, oval shape and then just two lines for the toes. Like that. And then lastly is his this arm. And it's honestly super easy to draw. So basically what you can do is just kind of follow the circle that we have here. Like this for his hand. And then you're basically going to start about here and just draw a curve line going up like this. Then you're going to get a line going down. Kind of follow these like little ovals that we have. In like that. And get one more line right there. And then just a nice little curve line to draw in for his wristband. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you draw TKO from the show OKKL. So I will um, stand up the picture here. So there's a sketch we just did. I will put the inked version up here as well. Stay. So um, there you have it. Uh, not hard to draw at all. It's kind of like these nice, big, simple shapes. Um, so just circles, kind of like... Um, just really rounded. 
Like his uh, whole design is very rounded, so like when you make like uh, rectangles for like his jacket or squares, stuff like that, you just kind of keep the edges very rounded. Um, the only exception is his hair. His hair actually has some spikes to it. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Um, if you guys have requests, I do take them. All you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the uh, comments below. I'll take your name, what you requested, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason, so um, it's just what I feel like drawing that day. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for the request. Thank you, Jab and Sanders, for the request, and I will see you guys in some other video. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.